Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle casual from CCT Arate Onzorunzaga. Uh, Gosh, I hope I'm close. Uh, Garate. I looked up the first and, I, and I've, we've done a tangle by Arate before. And um, I had... I, 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 well, I, that's right. I had, I had kind of done a phonetics type thing. Uh, well, if, if you ever watch this, Rade, I, I'm so sorry <laughs> if I have butchered your name, but it is, you know what? This is a neat tangle. I have been afraid of this tangle and I was like, well, thanks to, uh, Inktober Tangles 2023. And when you commit to like, I'm going to just do these come what may. Then you get to, you know, uh, explore ones that that maybe you didn't think you wanted to do before. Okay. Um, all right. So this one starts off with one of those offset grids that usually drive me a bit nuts. But I do have a workaround. So if you have a challenge with those two, uh, this is my way of doing it. I'm going to put... Now, let's see. These are kind of rectangle, tangular. I... Kept, I kept making them too big. So just kind of go on the small side. Don't worry. And you know what? You don't have to worry about them being rectangular either, honestly. This is a little bit bigger than what I was working on on my step out. So that's good. So keeping them nicely spaced because you're going to want to put another rectangle. We're going to end up putting one here. Now, if you feel comfortable and just, you know, put a line... Uh, a row of them out then you could come back in the middle but what I like to do is so I'm going to divide this kind of in thirds at least do my best eyeballing it oh yeah we'll leave it you know that little overhang will get buried in a moment and this one quite forgiving all right there we go. And, and you will see because, well, if this is the first time you've watched, I am the poster child for showing that what, when tangles are forgiving or for, you know, when, because I like to eyeball it. There's, you know, no grids. I mean, that's what that is a, a Zentangle thing for those that didn't know, um, you know, that it shouldn't be done with a grid line that's, that's erased afterwards. Um, you know, and if you're doing Zentangle inspired art, you know, don't worry about it. But for the methodology, and so I like to stick to that because, and because it's a fun challenge to see just how, how close can I get. Anyway, all right. So then taking, looking at four, we're going to put one right in the middle. I'm trying to keep it around the same size. And then same thing, if you eyeball those four, put one in the middle, you're good to go. All right. And you know what? And it's funny because I'm doing these rectangles first. And, um, and you'll notice on my version of the step outs, I, I, that's how I did it. I showed doing this way and then putting these in afterwards. And on that second box, then I added the line in between. And, you know, close to in the middle is great. Okie doke. Now, and again, yeah, like I said, you know, looking at this, I'm like, oh, oh, mm, okay. And so digging into it, it's not as bad as it looks. All right. So now once you have your grid set, then, and I also divided this, uh, this step up. So that way it's easier to see because, um, we'll just leave it that way. It's just easier to see period. So what we're going to do is, so I'm going to start right here. And from the middle line, I'm just going to stick that out a little bit. From this middle line, and we're, we're kind of, we're working diagonally. So from the middle line to the top line of the rectangle or box below. And you're going to make like an S-shaped curve or whatever uh, works best. An S-shaped curve is nice. And, you know, because some of that's going to depend on how, how your grid is. We'll see how mine turns out. Um... But that's what I say, don't worry about it because, you know, all, all will work out fine. And so we'll continue on this 
this row, same thing here, but we're we're still coming to this one. Oh, I said I said oh no, I said zigzag. So or diagonal, meaning we're going like this. So from here, middle to the top, and just rinse and repeat. Now we're gonna go from this row to here. Guess what? Same thing. <laughs> middle to the top. And that's where, ah, if you have a little overhang like that, it does not matter. But just, to, you know, if you need to have the mantra, middle to the top, middle to the top. And then again, same thing. And then last one. That's good. I say that because that's what I have to do. Middle to the top, middle to the top. All right. It's good for the Zen, right? Having a, having a mantra. <laughs> Ours are just weird. <laughs> so, all right. Then we're going to go, we're going to go, excuse me, from the bottom to the middle. So we'll, let's take this first row because as you see on, you know, on the final product, you know, it, it, you see the two lines. And like I said, I did, I needed to break this out so I could do it. And so that real it helped me. Hope it helps you. Okay. So bottom to the middle and yes, it, it, there, there's somebody already there. I mean, somebody meaning that line and it's okay. It can share. They share good. Sharing is caring. All right, so middle to the bottom. Now, now this is where it's not always going to be the same, okay? Because we went, I said it wrong. Right, bottom, no, oh, no, no, it is. Bottom to the middle. <laughs> it's because I said it wrong. When you have two mantras going in your head, sometimes it's just not good. It gets confusing. So here, same thing. So we're going to go from the bottom to the middle. And then... I mean, you can watch your aura ing. I'm honestly, I'm not paying, I'm paying attention, but not paying attention to it at the same time. All right. And then same thing, bottom to the middle. And this is just a nice one to go slow. And then the last one, same thing. Go slow, watch your pen, think the mantra, but, but make sure that you get, you know, you have the right one. Although you, oh, you, wait, you know what? Okay, I just have this last one and I, you know, usually I think about this ahead of time, but I was so, um, I don't know, sidetracked from other things. Let's do this. Cause if we were to turn the tile, then we would go from the middle to the top. Boy, I could have saved all of that. <laughs> so do it one direction with that one mantra, flip your tile or your paper, and then you can keep the same mantra. So if that makes it easier for you, do it that way. It's always lovely when, when we can do that. And it's the same, same strokes, you know, from the same areas. I mean, we're just moving along doing the same thing. That's what really, really helps uh, bring about the meditative um, aspect of Zentangle is when we can do that as much as possible. All right. And, you know, it's just neat. And it's one of those where don't worry about it until the end. And that's that. All right. So let's see. Um, do take a look at the For More Inspiration link. I'm looking to see how she shaded. I don't see. Oh, wait, no, I do see some. Okay. Um, and uh, and also for other ideas because this and also, I mean, you can have it go oh this way, you know, so you have your choice of direction. And what we've created too, if you wish, is a reticula. So you could put tangles on the inside. It's just, you know, it's up to you, whatever you want to end up doing with it. I do like the idea of, because these look like, um, 
I don't know, what would they be called? Some things that, uh, that these are fitting in. So just a little graphite, and these are so small. You could probably get away with just what's on your tortillon. But yeah, take a look at that link uh, to get some ideas. I might throw a couple things in here just because I think that she had some really cute ideas uh, with just some little orbs and, and things. I'm going to just, <laughs> I'm using, following my own rules, putting the tip of the tortillon where I don't want to go over. my. It's hard because this is a little bit thick. But I don't want a whole lot anyway. But I also I want it to I kind of want it to stay in where it's at. And it's just you know I do break my own rules from time to time. It's just it's it's um safer to do it this way versus doing it that way because you know the tip is where you get the most graphite, and so you want to keep that where uh, kind of where you want it. And like I said, I break my own rules just like there. It's hard because I just put such a little bit in there. But look at how neat that that looks. Oh. All right. Well, I do like what she did. You know, oh, well, oh, and here's a, here is a something else. So you could have fun with these even and put uh, stripes or, or like um, similar to like the Tangle Beetlejuice where you, you know, you, uh, you put lines in. And actually, if you do little curved lines, then it gives it a rounded look. Um, I love that she put some, we'll just do some, some little orbs in here and there. It's one of those things that I think it's so cute when people do it and I just don't. Well, sometimes I do. I have to be reminded for whatever reason, but it's just cute. But you can do whatever you want. It's your tangle. And, and we'll use the hashtag. I just racked up, you know, a uh, hundred dollars of, of the uh, pretend uh, Tangle tangle Addicts cash for Alyssa. There you go. Ching. <laughs> hashtag, you do what you want. Oh, there we go again. There's another. <laughs> it's an inside joke. You have to come and visit us on our Tangle time. And then you two can, can laugh along. I do try to explain because it's not fun to have um, inside jokes. You know, they have to be explained. So, all right. I'm just looking to get more inspiration. Anyway, I like that. That's just super cute. I'm going to leave it as such. Ah, fun. And you know what's also neat is that feeling that you get when you're like, well, I was afraid of you, casual tangle. <laughs> now I am not. <laughs> so it's just it's always neat to you know to to have that uh, uh, sense of accomplishment. It's like all right, well, nope, we got you. And this is a neat tangle, and it's not, it's really not that hard, uh, really not. Um, cool, cool, cool. So excited. All right, so I mentioned the description section. Oh, what I if you enjoyed this, let me mention that first. Please click on the like button if you liked it enough to see more. Please uh, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to share this, leave comments and all of that. Um, I mentioned the description section. I always do my own version of the step out and then link to uh, the creator of the tangle. So you will find that there. Also ways to connect with me if you wish. Uh, I have a link to my website, Facebook page. And if you want to be part of the conversation and, you know, be, you know, on the, you know, the inside track of these little inside jokes <laughs> you might want to consider joining our facebook group <laughs> if you and if you don't you j come and join us on on some of the free classes that because because they're all shared there um and you know we create new ones too because it's just a lot of fun uh, but i do have a link to our private uh, tangle addicts community it's a it's a beautiful group of people just amazing uh after you click the link, there are four questions you have to answer in order to gain entry, just so you're aware. Um, also, if you um, if you are looking for other patterns, I, I, I haven't mentioned this a whole lot, but I, I, I should every once in a while. If you click on my name or my picture, 
then that will take you to, I, I, all of a sudden I got New Yorkish there for a minute. Um, <laughs> accents just come in, in, I don't know from where it's just interesting. Um, that will take you to, for lack of a better term, the homepage for the channel. There you will find playlists. Um, oh, what will I put this one in? I don't know yet. Well, Reticula for sure. Uh, but I tried to, to put them into playlists where they, you know, seem to apply. Um, but you'll see all of that. You'll see all of the tangles that I have. And, um, and class replays um, and things like that. So go there, have fun. And... Um, you know, you might want to let somebody know because and say, hey, if I don't come out after, you know, a couple days, somebody come and rescue me because <laughs> there's lots of tangles there. All right. So with that, thank you so much for watching and having fun with me. And I wish you happy tangling.